Section 1. Cosmic Spark, the Birth of Stars The universe is a vast and mysterious place, filled with wonders that boggle the mind and inspire the soul. Among these wonders, the birth of stars stands out as one of the most awe-inspiring phenomena. Did you know that we are all made of star stuff? This isn't just poetic musing, it's a scientific fact. The very elements that make up our bodies, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, and the oxygen we breathe were all forged in the hearts of ancient stars. It's true. The atoms in our bodies were forged in the fiery hearts of stars billions of years ago. These stars lived out their lives, exploded in supernovae, and scattered their enriched guts across the cosmos, seeding the next generation of stars and planets. Stars are the building blocks of galaxies and the creators of the elements that make up everything we see around us. Without stars, there would be no planets, no life, and no us. They are the cosmic alchemists, transforming simple hydrogen into the complex elements that form the foundation of our existence. The birth of a star is a remarkable event. It's a process that takes millions of years, yet it is fundamental to the structure and evolution of the universe. From the smallest red dwarfs to the most massive blue giants, every star begins its life in a similar way. It all begins in a nebula, a vast cloud of gas and dust scattered throughout space. These nebulae are often the remnants of previous stellar explosions, rich with the elements needed to create new stars. These clouds are like cosmic fingerprints, each one unique and breathtakingly beautiful. Some are illuminated by the light of nearby stars, glowing in vibrant colors, while others are dark and mysterious, hiding their secrets in the shadows. Within these clouds, gravity acts as a sculptor, slowly pulling together the raw materials for a new star. Over time, these clumps of gas and dust grow denser and more compact, forming what astronomers call a protostar. As more and more gas and dust accumulate, the cloud's core begins to heat up. This is the beginning of a long and dramatic process that will eventually lead to the birth of a new star. This heat is generated by the friction of the particles colliding with each other as they are pulled closer together by gravity. The more material that falls in, the hotter the core becomes. Think of it like rubbing your hands together on a cold day. The friction between your hands generates heat, warming them up. In the same way, the particles in the nebula generate heat as they collide and compress. The more you rub, the warmer your hands get. Similarly, the more particles collide in the nebula, the hotter the core becomes. This process continues for millions of years, with the core temperature steadily rising. The same principle applies to the birth of a star. As the core temperature increases, the pressure also builds up, creating the perfect conditions for nuclear fusion to occur. Over millions of years, the core of the collapsing cloud gets hotter and hotter. The temperature must reach millions of degrees for nuclear fusion to ignite, a process that requires immense pressure and heat. Eventually, the temperature and pressure become so intense that nuclear fusion ignites. This is the moment when a protostar becomes a true star shining brightly in the cosmos, and with a sudden burst of energy, a star is born. This new star will continue to burn for millions or even billions of years, providing light and heat to any planets that may form around it and continuing the cycle of cosmic creation. Section 2. Stellar Nurseries, where stars take shape. Nebulae, often referred to as stellar nurseries, are the birthplaces of stars. These vast clouds of gas and dust, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, provide the raw materials from which stars form. Gravity plays a crucial role in the formation of stars within these nebulae. As gravity pulls the gas and dust together, the cloud begins to collapse in on itself. This collapse causes the density and temperature of the cloud to increase, particularly at its core. As the core of the cloud becomes denser and hotter, it begins to glow. This glowing core is known as a protostar. At this stage, the protostar is not yet a true star, as it is not yet hot enough to sustain nuclear fusion in its core. Over time, the protostar continues to accrete material from the surrounding nebula, growing in mass and temperature. This process can continue for millions of years until the protostar reaches a critical temperature and pressure at its core. Section 3. A star is born, gravity's crucial role. 
Gravity is the driving force behind the birth of a star. It acts like an invisible hand, gathering the scattered atoms of gas and dust in a nebula and pulling them together. As more and more matter clumps together, the gravitational pull becomes stronger, accelerating the process of collapse. This creates a snowball effect, with the protostar at the center of the collapsing cloud growing larger and denser over time. The temperature and pressure at the core of the protostar continue to rise as gravity compresses the gas and dust. Think of it like squeezing a balloon. The more you squeeze, the more pressure builds up inside. Eventually, the core of the protostar reaches a critical temperature of about 10 million degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the hydrogen atoms in the core have enough energy to overcome their natural repulsion and fuse together, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This process, known as nuclear fusion, marks the birth of a star. Section 4. The Main Sequence, Our Sun's Story. Once a star ignites nuclear fusion in its core, it enters a long, stable period known as the main sequence. This phase is crucial in the life of a star, as it marks the period where the star spends the majority of its existence. This is the longest stage in a star's life, and it's where our own sun currently resides. The main sequence phase is characterized by a delicate balance of forces within the star. During the main sequence, a star fuses hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing a steady stream of energy in the form of light and heat. This process is known as nuclear fusion, and it is the source of a star's energy. This energy creates outward pressure that balances the inward pull of gravity, keeping the star in equilibrium. This balance is essential for the star's stability, preventing it from collapsing under its own gravity or exploding outward. The length of time a star spends on the main sequence depends on its mass. Larger, more massive stars have shorter main sequence lifespans, while smaller stars can remain in this phase for much longer periods. Massive stars burn through their hydrogen fuel much faster than smaller stars. This rapid consumption of fuel leads to a shorter, but more intense, main sequence phase. Our Sun, a medium-sized star, has been on the main sequence for about 4.6 billion years and has enough hydrogen fuel to continue shining for another 5 billion years or so. This extended period of stability is what allows life to thrive on Earth. While on the main sequence, stars are constantly evolving, albeit very slowly. The changes are gradual and often imperceptible over short timescales. They gradually become slightly hotter and brighter as they age. This increase in temperature and luminosity is a result of the changing conditions in the star's core as it continues to fuse hydrogen into helium. However, for the most part, they remain relatively stable during this phase of their lives. This stability is crucial for the development of planetary systems and the potential for life to emerge around these stars. As our Sun continues its journey on the main sequence, it will slowly change, but it will remain a reliable source of light and heat for billions of years to come. Understanding the main sequence helps us appreciate the delicate balance that sustains our Sun and, by extension, life on Earth. Stars of different sizes and colors populate the main sequence, each with its own unique characteristics and lifespans. From the smallest red dwarfs to the largest blue giants, the main sequence is a diverse and dynamic phase in the life of a star. Observing star clusters can provide valuable insights into the main sequence, as these clusters often contain stars at various stages of their main sequence lifespans. By studying these clusters, astronomers can learn more about the life cycles of stars and the processes that govern their evolution. Our Sun's story is just one of countless tales unfolding in the cosmos. As we continue to explore and understand the main sequence, we gain a deeper appreciation for the forces that shape our universe and the stars that light up our night sky. Section 5. Fueling the Fire Nuclear Fusion at Work Nuclear fusion is the engine that powers a star. It is the fundamental process that allows stars to shine and emit energy across the universe. It's the process of combining lighter atomic nuclei into heavier ones, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This energy is what makes stars visible from vast distances. In the core of a star, 
the temperature and pressure are so intense that hydrogen atoms, which normally repel each other, are forced to fuse together. This environment is incredibly hostile, with temperatures reaching millions of degrees Celsius. This fusion process creates helium, a slightly heavier element, and releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of gamma rays. These gamma rays are the initial products of the fusion reaction. These gamma rays then collide with other particles in the star's core, gradually losing energy and transforming into other forms of electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays, ultraviolet radiation, visible light, and infrared radiation. This transformation process is crucial for the energy to eventually escape the star. This radiation then slowly makes its way to the star's surface, where it is emitted into space, providing the light and heat that we observe from Earth. The journey from the core to the surface can take thousands of years. Nuclear fusion is a highly efficient energy source. The energy produced by fusion is far greater than that produced by any chemical reaction. It releases far more energy than chemical reactions, such as the burning of fossil fuels on Earth. For instance, the fusion of hydrogen into helium releases millions of times more energy than the combustion of a similar mass of fossil fuel. This is why stars can shine so brightly for billions of years. The energy produced by nuclear fusion is not only immense, but also sustained over incredibly long periods, allowing stars to be long-lasting beacons in the cosmos. The life cycle of a star is deeply intertwined with nuclear fusion. From the moment a star is born in a nebula, nuclear fusion begins in its core, driving its evolution and eventual fate. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer sustain fusion reactions, leading to its death. In some cases, this results in a spectacular supernova explosion, scattering elements across the galaxy. These elements, formed through nuclear fusion, are the building blocks of planets, moons, and even life itself. Thus, nuclear fusion not only powers stars but also plays a crucial role in the creation of the universe as we know it. As we look up at the night sky, we are witnessing the incredible power of nuclear fusion at work, lighting up the universe and fueling the cosmic dance of creation and destruction.